taking out. We have to take another trip soon. I want to fucking go camping and, yeah, I really want to camp and survive. This has been your fantasy forever. Just go on fucking Survivor. I'm tired of they hearing it. They won't do it. I tried. How Can many times, guys, to be honest, and don't I lie. I lied three times. How many times? Three times. It's too many. It's like the small, it's like the a small backstory? thing. I gotta have some cooth at some do you point. Gotta, do you oh, create a good backstory? The third time, the third time I got close, and when they told me no, I kind of gave them an attitude. Oh, so you're done. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right. Because they were like, yeah, so like they were like, oh, yeah, the next step would be to talk to Jeff Propes. And then I didn't. <laughs> and then I was so excited because I was like, I get the FaceTime with Propes. And then um, um, and no. then they like didn't move on with me. And I was like, well, OK, I'll let you know when a family member gets cancer or something so you can let me on. <laughs> Not the that's what you said. I, <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> yeah, because that's the truth. That's why they didn't take me. Jeez. Not enough drama in my story. If- you want drama? Put me on. Put me on Survivor. I want to be on Survivor. Please, Jeff. I'm sorry I was mean. Apologize. Jeff. I would get a limp sooner rather than later. <laughs> <laughs> then Jeff, I have, <laughs> I have arthritis. I have arthritis. I have arthritis. I have arthritis. Wait, dude. You're ready for Survivor. Dude, I have arthritis now. You're ready for Survivor, dude. Oh, my God. You basically... God wrote you on. I'm going on there. I'm getting in there. My little bones are going to be... I'm going to say, oh, my neck just hurts so bad today. I don't know if I'm going to make it to tribal. It will be juicy for you. Juicy for you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know Jeff I, da- I don't like how excited you, know you get. You know Jeff Probst dated one of his contestants one time? Really? Yeah. What a little dog. Yeah, she was in her tent and he was like, Your little pussy belongs to me. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. I mean, not Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. I just mix up um, Jeff Bezos and Jeff Probes. It would be crazy if Jeff Bezos hosted Survivor instead. <laughs> And a bunch of billionaires. Hosting Survivor is so funny with people with nothing. So funny. He kind of is hosting his own Survivor right now, actually. The way the economy is set up. Anywho. It would be interesting to see like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. On Survivor. Survivor. Yeah. Honey, you're putting a billion dollar idea out there. I love it. Yeah. I got more. Write that up before we put this out. Okay. <laughs> Send an email to yourself, whatever. Remember when people used to be like, if you if you just eat, mail yourself. Oh, yeah, mail yourself. And don't your open it. Legally, you can't be sued. Wait, what? I don't know. There was like this rumor that like if you had an idea, you can mail it to yourself and have the address. And Wait. then that you, it's like a copyright thing where like I thought of it first. I mailed it to myself on this date. You mailed it to yourself in the mail. Yeah. You walk to your to your mailbox. You leave the letter in, and then the next day you take it back out. No. No. Like, what was it, Xavier? Yeah, I, I've heard it with like like scripts and stuff, where it's like if you like think of an idea, you can mail it to yourself. That way, you can prove that you had it on a certain. Mail day. it to your own house. Yeah. Hard mail. Hard. hard yeah. Mail. Snail mail. So you can have the the receipt. I think this is before email. Because now you have an email and you can be like, I sent this email on this day. Great. Now I'm going to be mailing myself every day in 2024. No, I don't think it works anymore. You told anymore. me this idea. I don't think what legal- do you mean? It's it's not true anymore? I don't think it's like it like holds up yes, in court. Yes, mailing a copy of your own work to yourself is sometimes called a poor man's copyright or a poor man's patent. But it's not a substitute for copyright. <laughs> I call it the Puerto Rican patent. I patented it. I sent it to myself in the mail. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it imagine work. doing it on like nice stationery, taking the time out of your day. No, that's what people used to do. Well, They'd be like, I thought of something and go mail it to I themselves. I seal it with a Hello Kitty sticker. <sighs> Dude, I thought of a idea. really good invention in my sleep the other night, and I'm just remembering it. And I don't remember what the invention was, but I remember it was groundbreaking and made me a millionaire. And I, I'm just having this weird flashback. I do think you could think of million dollar ideas all day. Like if someone just gave you That's a very nice compliment. If somebody sister, just gave you enough you so weed. Much. If somebody gave you enough weed and coffee and you were in the right mood, you I could, could be in inv- an inventor's writer's with, room. You could come up with some inventions. Is there inventors writers rooms? I want to be in one of those. And then whoever pitches the idea gets a percentage of the patent. Okay, well write that down, email mail it to yourself. Mail before, mail before me that this Dave. episode yeah, comes yeah, out. Mail mail right now. 